let us read this sentence. Write plurals of these words. Now I want you to identify or I want you to try and write plurals of these words. Now, our first word is egg. So what is the plural of the word egg? Tell somebody there. What is the plural? The plural of the word egg is egg. So we write the word egg and then we add an S. So egg, eggs. Read this one. Very good. Flower. What is the plural of the word flower? Yes, the plural of the word flower is flowers. So we will copy the word flower and then we are going to add an S. So it becomes flowers. Uh -huh. Number three, we have the word elephant. Tell mommy at home or daddy or anybody there the plural of the word elephant. Very nice. Uh huh. Ruler. Very good. All. Very good. Ma. Very good. Apple. Very good. Umbrella. Very good. And orange. Very good. So, mommy or daddy at home auntie or your big sister or big brother will give you some more words that you need to add an S to make that word to be in plural. So try that exercise and continue. Now, uh, last time when we were together, I want to believe you remember we read a poem. Do you remember? Do you remember the title of the poem? Tell somebody what was the title of the poem we read. Very good. The title was of the poem was Dear Father. Now, today we are going to read the poem again. And I will not read for you today. You will read for yourself. So let us read this poem together. Now, I want us to read the poem together. Haya, let us read the poem. The title of the poem is Dear Father. Now you are going to read the poem. I will not read for you. Okay, read. Very good. Did you read the poem well? Did you read every word? That is very good. Let me give you a clap. One for you. Thumbs up. That is very good. So we were just reminding ourselves what we read last time. Last time we also learned grammar. 
Do you remember? Do you remember what we learnt about in grammar? To remind me, tell me, what did you learn in grammar? Uh-huh. Very good. We learned about the use of shall and will. So we have said like, like in like, uh, we have said that in grammar we learned about the use of shall and will. What did we say? When do we use shall? Okay. Now tell me. Here we have I. What will we use? Will you say I shall or I will? Mm -hmm. Good. We will say I shall. You can say I shall sing, I shall write, I shall eat. And you can put any other thing that you can do. We call those things that we do verbs. Uh huh. We. What will we say? Will we say we shall or we will? Mm -hmm. Very good. We will say we shall. So remember, we said that the word shall is only used with two words. That is I and we. So we can use I shall we shall. So anytime you don't see I or we, you will not use shall. What will you use? We will use we. So the rest will be very simple. Okay? Haya, tell me you. What will we say? Will you, will you say you shall or you will? Very good. You will say you will. So you can say, you will play, you will sing, you will run. You can put any verb or anything that you can do after the word, will. They, when people are many, what will we use? They shall or they will. Very good. We will say, they will. So you can say, they will climb the trees. They will wash their clothes and many other things that you can say. He, what will we say? What will we put here? Shall or will? And he is used for boys and men. So we will say he will. You can say he will wash his clothes. He will cook the food. Uh huh. She, she is used for. Yes, she is used for girls, ladies, or mothers. Okay. So what will we say? She shall or she will. Nice. She will. So we we'll say she will sing a beautiful, a, a, a sweet song. She will wear a beautiful dress. Uh huh. It, it is used for animals and other things that are not people. So what will we say? It, it shall or it will. Very nice. We will say it will. We can say it will feed its puppies. It will go to the kennel. It will eat the rats. It will break. Maybe it is a chair. That chair will break. So we will say, it will break. Uh-huh. We have another sentence. The boy dash. Look at this. The boy. How many boys are we talking about? We are talking about one boy. Because this one is not ending with an S. So, what will we say? The boy shall or the boy will? It will be the boy will. So, when we are talking about one thing, we use will. So, here, yeah, the boy will play. The boy will run. 
the boy will ride his bike. So you can make a better sen a, a, a good sentence from that. Then we have another sentence. The children. When we say the children, how many children do we have? These are many. There are many children. So what will we use? Will we say shall or will? Yes, it will be the children will. So we can say the children will go home. The children will wash their hands. The children will not get coronavirus and so on. Very good. So that was our grammar. So keep on doing a lot of exercises to remind yourselves. Today we were just reminding ourselves what we did. Now, I want to give you an assignment. I want to give you an assignment and this is our assignment. Copy and read the following words. So you are going to copy these words. You copy them very well. After copying them, you read them. Okay? So, I will not read for you because you are expected to read them. Remember, all these words were from the story, from the poem we, we read. These words, you have read them from the poem, so it will not be difficult for you to read them again. So, which is the first word? Again, the second word, again, the third word, again, the fourth word, again, the fifth word, again, very good. So copy those words and then you read them. You can also may use the words to make some sentences for your extra work.